lost. What happened? I only need like four or five. I told you I got bit by a shark. Anybody that got bit by a shark, not to be afraid, but to be back on it. Don't it don't it don't make you afraid, it just makes you to be a little bit strong. Sharks become our friends. You know they got the week on this is the week now we call it shark week, so it's gonna be on for a while. And anybody else in this whole entire world, you got bit by a shark, they don't get off that horse, just stay push. My name is Bernard, I live in the Bahamas. I have my, my friends came over to hang out with me for a few days, you know. And anything else you need to know on sharks, we'll be at your service. We can let you know, tell you, everybody get around, you know. And let's learn these sharks and study them out so we don't get, you know, you know, you know so the same mistake don't happen to me. You know, the same mistake don't happen to know anybody. When we shoot fish, how did it happen? It happened uh, by shooting fish. Just getting, you know, it was just getting in the way at the time. The shark came. Spear fishing, right? Yeah, it was. It was show us, a, yeah. Show us the score? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what kind of shark was it? It was a bull shark. A bull shark? Yes. I'm serious. Bull shark. Crazy, man. Crazy. Yeah, but look, you got your arm. Yeah, I tried. I had to fight for my arm. That's the only way I had to get it. Cause you know, the shark hold me on the arm, and bite me, shook twice. I hold him on the nose, bumped him off, and you know, it was like a little pool of blood. One time or two times? One time. One time. It just was too shaky. One time for all that damage. Yes. But, but see, when I get bit of the armors and like this, the armors all folded in like this. And now, you know, that's how you get all those marks, those teeth marks, all these scars, all this stuff like that. Thanks for a good story. Yeah. <laughs> but he still gets out there and he still spearfishes yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Still do it. Never afraid. Anybody who's doing it, they don't be afraid. Stay strong. You know what I mean? Keep everybody happy. Everybody can make a meal, get a meal, and don't get yourself bite by sharks. You got a lot of sharks out there, and they're getting aggressive right now. Because, you know, they haven't been getting feed in a while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're just getting more aggressive now every time. But everybody just needs to be more careful and keep an eyes on those sharks. But I let you know, those shark shield bond and stuff, they don't work. But the other ones with the long cable and stuff, they work because you know why? I tried it out. You know? I have been calling us from all kind of shop. I've been, I had a tiger shark swim behind me before. Gold shark, reef, lemon, nurse shark. Hammerhead? Nah, I ain't had the time calling us no hammerhead though. I seen a couple. We saw reef sharks today while we were diving. Yes. All right, thank you, Bernard. All right, buddy. No problem. Fishing in the Bahamas is different than off the coast of Florida. Only pole spears and Hawaiian slings are allowed in the Bahamas. The use of spear guns or scuba tanks is prohibited. 
At the second spot of the day, Victor speared a Nassau grouper. It pulled off his spear the first time he shot it, and it went a few feet into a hole where he was able to shoot it again. The harvest of Nassau groupers is prohibited in Florida, but allowed in the Bahamas. However, there is a closed season for them in the Bahamas from December 1st through February 29th. Nassau groupers can change their color patterns from light to dark brown very quickly depending on their surrounding environment or mood. When Victor first spotted this fish, he was a very light, almost gray color to camouflage in with the rocks. But as you can see, after Victor speared it, he became a very dark brown. A lot of times while spearfishing, sharks will show up shortly after you spear a fish. Not only are they attracted to the blood in the water, but a lot of times fish will struggle like this mutton I spear did, and that also attracts the sharks and gets them fired up. The sharks aren't looking to attack you, all they're concerned with is the fact that you're holding an easy meal for them. Bernard, who told a story at the beginning of the video, was holding a speared fish when a bull shark came from behind him to grab the fish. The shark went for the fish and grabbed Bernard's elbow instead. He never even seen the shark before he felt the bite. But as Bernard said, there's no need to be afraid, just be careful and aware. The sharks are our friends. You should always be aware of what's around you while you are shooting fish and never be alone. Bahamas are unlike anything I've ever seen off the Florida coast. Their true beauty is breathtaking. Some of the coral heads were over 20 feet tall and the sea fans just barely brushed the surface of the water. There are caves where you can disappear into and fish to watch for hours. We didn't find many big fish to shoot but just experiencing this was way worth the 112 mile travel to this beautiful island. Shark shirt.
I'll tell you what, riding on a peacock, but getting to a pad of boat is definitely a first for me.